Welcome back to Ark Knights. Um, I'm sorry about last episode. I really have no idea what happened. I checked the file on my computer. It wasn't corrupted. I, I checked everything. And there was nothing wrong with the video itself. So I'm not sure why it only posted 39 minutes, even though it was a 51 minute video. Like, it was supposed to be longer. Uh, so I have no clue what happened there. So today there will be two videos. Tonight's normal video. It's probably gonna be a little late even. Um, and then at 2.30. Um, hopefully I fixed it and it should post the last 12 minutes of the video with no problem, but in the end, I guess I'll just wait and see. <laughs> um, last night I did a lot of grinding for material to, uh, what's it called? Promote. So I have a promoted five-star tank now. Uh, Liskerm is now five-star, level 20. And a lot of my other promoted characters are level 15. So I should be, I, I'm not, probably not going to be, but we'll find out. I should be strong enough to now do the next level. Uh, oh, right, I got hunting permits. We'll start with that, actually. I forgot that I bought those. This is a lot of stuff. Holy crap. A lot of Arundum, too. Nice. Oh, and a lot of pure gold, so now I can go finish some missions, even. Uh, dailies, expedited plans. So, the last two things I did was guard AoE and DP recovery, so let's see what I get. Oh. Oh. Who is it? From Operation Reserve oh. Team A6 reporting in. Uh, I'm sorry, my teammate. Okay, well, I got a shard for Papa Car. Let's see what the DP recovery guy is. My name is Plume, formerly of the Pontifica Cohorts Lateran. I will be your sword and your wings as I defend your very life. Nice. Uh... I actually got a comment saying that. I should do one specific combination. I don't want to see what happens when I do. Um, don't have her, just recruit her with either DP plus healing or Vanguard plus healing. DP healing or Vanguard healing? What if I do DP Vanguard? We'll see if that works. Actually, let's do this. Okay. Um, defender defense? Wait, what? <laughs> defender defense. Let's see what happens with that. Um, let's expedite this one. Higher. Excuse me. Is this Vigna? the office of the doctor? I've been looking for the place quite a while, and it'd be really appreciated if... Uh, what? You're, You're the doctor? The doctor? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh... Fast redeploy could be good. Um. Ooh, summon. Let's do summon, actually. Expedite, expedite. Looter workshop of Rhine Lab at your ah, service. Ah, nice. Yep, I run the workshop on my own. No assistance needed. Amazing, right? Nice. I got a mayor shard. That's amazing. Okay. Um. Vanguard Medic? No, fuck. Okay, well. Cancel. Oh, stop. Um, oh, that resets them, but it costs one still. Um. Let's do Medic Melee, see what happens. Oh, I did it again, motherfucker. Healing. Healing melee. Let's see what happens with that. Expedite. Oh! Okay, three Hi. Star. I'm Spot from Operation Reserve Team A6. My job is to protect the other troublemaker. Okay. Um. Expedite this one too. Defender defense. My code name is Beagle. Okay, that makes sense. I know I didn't do very well on my assessment, but I'll still do my best. Um, medic DP recovery. Expedite. 
Well, I got a medic at least. This is Intern Hibiscus. From now on, I'll be in charge of managing yours and every operator's health. Her ever. voice line is so loud. <laughs> um. I doubt there's one that does this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Captain of Reserve Op Team A6, Orchid, reporting in. I'll take her. Are you the doctor? I look. Okay. Why is office must be built? Oh, for the last one. Okay. Um. An AOE supporter. Let's see if that's something. Ah, I got an AOE though. I'm Lava, a of caster. Course. Here to join you simply because I'm bored I and want something to do. <laughs> but I heard my sworn nem. Uh Defense. No. Let's do Melee Supporter? Is that a thing? We'll find out. Expedite, yes. Nope, but I got a supporter, so let's see. Konnichiwa, Doctor. She doesn't even have an English voice line. That's crazy. Uh, slow. Oh! Okay. Let's just see what comes out. It's probably gonna be or Orchid Chard. Captain of Reserve yeah. Team Aces. Okay. Orchid reporting in. I should have Are enough for doctor? her. Can I max her now? I can max her potential. Potential improved. Max. Wow. Okay, so she's as strong as she can be. Her attack is increased, her redeployment is 10 seconds less, and her DP cost is way less. Which is good because when I promoted her, it increased by like three. Okay. Uh, recruitment. Recruitment. Okay. Uh, let's go back to recruit. Let's see what else I can get. Uh, let's see if there's a caster. Oh. DPS caster. Fire. Nice. Okay. Caster Steward reporting in. I'm glad oh, I have working you? with you. Okay. Uh. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. I'm Vanilla, trainee I'm operator vanilla. from Black Steel. Looking for. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what starter does. Let's see what. Oh, okay. Lancer Fang, Captain of Reserve Op Team A1. My team and I will do our best. To it didn't even give me a starter. Um. Hey, we're healing. Ah, oh, really? Following the guidance of the Arcana, our paths have finally converged. I got another AoE. Um. Vanguard DPS? No. Yeah, let's do DPS. This is my last expedite. Let's see. Oh! My name is Plume, Plume. formerly of the Pontifica Cohort's Lateran. I, I will be your that. sword and your wind. The melee AoE. Fuck. Um. Let's do that. See what pops up. Um. And then let's do that for the other one. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Melee medic. Doctor, let me touch your head. 
Inspiration can strike, you know. I can do a little cooking. Huh? Overtime again? <laughs> oh, I knew it. D doctor I really can't hold it in anymore. It was Do mouse? I have a scratching post? <sighs> it wasn't even Jessica, it was mouse. Doctor? Do you want to have a taste of my new vitamin drink? If you keep petting me like that, my hair's going to get tangled. Doctor, let me touch your head. Inspiration can strike, you know. Uh. Am I helping? Are you? Okay. Thanks for taking care of me. Yes, I'm right here. Always and forever. Okay, Gravel. I am so thankful for all that you have done for me. Melantha? Uh, why are you here, Doctor? Okay. Steward, what should I do next? If you'd like, I can help. No trouble. So let's just keep doing this one, I guess. And I have three of them because I got the reward. Oh, okay, My skip. name is Plume. Formerly of the Pontifica Cohors Lateran. I will be your sword and your. Whoa! I'm Provence, your average catastrophe relief worker. Oh, shit, that's a five star! Hmm. Why are you staring at me like that? Interested in my tail? In her tail? Oh my god, that's a huge tail. What the fuck? She wasn't even one of the operator rate ups. It's crazy. Okay. Grab and pull! Okay. Captain of Reserve Op Team A6. Orchid reporting in. What do I do with Are the extra the orchid shards? I look now? forward I could do two more. I'm gonna do it. Huh. Okay. Hello! I've I never been again. in such a big mobile facility before! I'm so excited! Okay, stop talking. Attention! Okay. I am yeah. Doberman, former military instructor for the Bolivarian Armed Forces. Now let And you Wolf's Eye. Attack 8% every time the HP of the target falls by 20%. Oh. Oh. She's a short attack range. Wait, what type of your heavy shooter? Uh, high accuracy point blank shot. So she just hits really hard? Oh yeah, her attack is really high. And if I were to like, do this, say, yeah. Wow, okay. That's cool. reading. Full house. Straight flush. You little sack of shite. <laughs> You've been hiding cards, haven't you? Why'd I need to hide cards to beat you? Just sit yourself down like a good boy. Royal flush. God damn it. How'd you pull that one off? Your sleeve, Jack. Huh? How'd, how'd you catch that? Jack, you cheating bastard. Hey, if you didn't catch me, that's your problem. <laughs> you want a problem? I'll shove your goddamn head so far up your arse that just shuffled already. All right, shuffling, shuffling. I sure got some rotten luck getting stuck with you. Sorry, a lot for this shift. Doesn't matter who you're on shift with. Jude's playing cards anyway, and there's only a handful of fellows out here who won't try to cheat. Tre cheat you? I'm sorry, I said treat you. Go on, have a count. Okay, just make sure it's still recording. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. At least there haven't been too much to do today. You could say that again. Back when the old man said he'd take us sightseeing, I didn't believe it for one second. Now that it's been a month, 
I'd say I believe him. It's been good eating and good drinking. <laughs> yeah, it certainly has. It feels like my appetite's gone back to when I was just enlisted. Ah! What the hell are you screaming out for, Charles? You scared the crap out of me. Bloody hell, I had another nightmare. I dreamt that I got chopped in half by Sarkos' sword and all. Ugh. Thought it'd be something worse. Day of four yesterday, I dreamt that I got blown up by some Originium explosive whilst out scouting. Right now, I'd like to shove some explosives into your gob. Well, hurry up already, then. A guy nuttier than a freaking vampire on the battlefield is going to have a few screws loose that went up off the forefront. Well, what can I do? I can't control if I had a nightmare or not. Just think positive. Last time you said you were being minced. This time you said you are being chopped in two. Maybe it's a good omen or something. <laughs> God damn it. You're right. Alright, enough moping. Grab a drink and come play some cards. Perfect timing, though, really. Now that you're up, come take my over my spot for a few rounds. Why is something the matter? Not really. There's a few farmers at the bottom of the mountain that need a hand with their work, so I'm going to go help them out. Farmers? That family that gives us milk all the time, the Turiels? Oh, I remember them. Their daughter's quite pretty. <laughs> I see how it is, Lisburn. I'm helping out. Don't read too much into it. The hell are you lot doing? Everyone within 100 meters can hear you yapping away. You sure have some skills, turning the barracks into your own gambling parlor. <laughs> Didn't you say that we were just going to go sightseeing from the start, though? We're just following orders here. I told you, you can go out help. You can go help out the locals a bit for some goodwill. Let me think we're more than just a bunch of yobs. <laughs> Have you been out? Lisburn's going to help out now. He's keeping mum. He's keeping mum. But I can tell that he's thinking of settling down here. Oh? Don't listen to this nutter boss. I really am just going out to help. After all, we came here to... Alright, that's enough out of you. Just get going already. Who died and made you chief worry work, huh? A young lad like yourself really does want to become a family man? I'd say you're still a good egg. Yes, sir! You sure got a stink about you, boss. Still working on your veterinary... veterinary medicine out there? Save it. Lily the Leonis girl, she gave birth prematurely. Didn't get there in time. All I could do was help with the postpartum care. <sighs> and then I ran into this one. Very unlucky chap. Unlucky. Another Victorian. A Victorian? The whole month we've been out here, I've... I, the whole month we've been here, I bet I've seen, if not a thousand Victorian tourists, 800 at least. Alright, I get it. You love taking a stroll down the street. Deal those cards out already. I'll deal. Charles had a nightmare again, boss. Did he? Let me see. It's fine. No use troubling yourself over it. If you lot die, then the, who's going to fight for me? We're going to fight? Shut your mouth for a second and hold still. Alright. Ah! Hmm. At least it hasn't gotten worse. Does it still hurt as much as last time? It's been a lot better since we came to Cherig. Hmm. I spent a lot of money greasing palms just to get this opportunity. If you aren't feeling any healthier, doesn't it seem that like I waste all that dosh for nothing? <laughs> Besides, it's not like there's anything else to do here except get better. <laughs> You're right about that, sir. This arm's been no good for a while, but you've already helped me a lot. If I ever lose both my arms, well, at least I can still carry a weapon into battle with my teeth. What use a soldier with no arms? There's no need to show off. You lads just need to remember that you're here to... Allow me to remind you once more, my lord. You have a duty you are obligated to carry out. Do not fail her grace. This is not a sightseeing trip. What is, are they there for? That's what I'm curious about. <laughs> Boss, you finally gone senile? I'm not the same as you simpletons who care nothing for your health. 
when you've gone senile, I'm still going to be as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> hey, we might not even get to live that long. Uh, forget it. For the sake of my retirement, this old fogey's willing to go all in. What are you talking about? I don't think a hoity-toity lord like you throwing your money around is going to fit in well with the locals, honestly. But nobody's going to turn down a sumptuous banquet. You go on and play your cards. Sure, you're not just looking for an excuse to drop a crappy hand? Let me see. Four jacks. Not great, not terrible. <laughs> Oh? Okay, it's Ar Arctos. We haven't seen him in a while. Ha! Now that hits the spot. Enzio's really did send over special. Wait, send. That shit. Enzio sent it over specially. Said it would be given out at the bonfire banquet the night before the, the ceremony. That, uh. What was it called again? Carlin Manor's Snow Realm Spring, sir. They've been talking about it on television every day. Enough times that I've memorized it. <laughs> it's all about. This all just claptrap for the masses. I will say that this drink is exquisite. Very robust. I dare say it's one of the good things about NCO has done. However, it hardly holds a candle to your very own aged Harla Roche. Akavi. Okay. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Should we keep drinking this stuff, sir? Counting what we got from the brown tails, there's still three other drinks to try. Of course we'll keep drinking it. We don't try for ourselves, then how will we know which is the best? Since the Saintist has bestowed the privilege of organizing the banquet on Clay and Parla Roche, Parla Roche, this is a okay. I don't. I'm sorry. I keep like burping and hiccuping weird. This is of course one of my duties. Drinking is our top priority. I must pick Cherry's best spirits for this banquet. I cannot let the Saintist down. All right, go get the rest of the booze up here for a taste test. Yes, sir. Guards, with me. Let's carry up those drinks. General, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, although the patriarchs did say that this is all in preparation of the ceremony just now, isn't this way too much booze? The boys are totally worn out. You're thinking too much. Completing Charagander's statue is more important than any amount of booze. Ask the men to bear with it for a little while longer. Well, when everything's settled, I'll treat you all to a fine meal. All right, then. Palaroches. Palaroches. Could stand to be a bit more attentive. I didn't think infiltrating them would be this easy. Their former patriarchs. Oh, wait. Already brought Lurus Lind over. Next, I need to check what exactly Clan Palaroche is up to, has up its sleeve. Moreover, all this booze based off the Arctos attitude is it really all for the banquet? Yeah, another trail to follow. Weird. What's with the lollygagging? G come over and help out already. Yes, sir! But if the Polaroches truly are keeping some terrible secret, Rosalind must surely be involved as well. Finding her has become a priority. Is this Asher? Is that Shroby Asher? We have arrived. Is this your house? These rooms are pretty big. Are you one of the low-key rich guys? You don't look it. Hardly. This is merely some family property. <laughs> look here, young lady. This house is built right into the mountain. When you begin to climb tomorrow, you can use a shortcut behind it. Got it. Thanks a lot, Batyushka. What does that one mean? I'm gonna look that up. Batyushka meaning father oh like a priest yeah well duh that's what he is oh okay weird uh i should apologize to you first huh eh, but why though i invited you here out of my own selfish desire but sure gander i should not have hidden this from you why are you all serious all of a sudden I can handle it. Just lay it on me. Oh, child. There's someone I would like you to meet. He... Master? There's a real big guy yelling for you over there, Batyushka. He your son? He's certainly no son of mine. Give me a moment, young lady. 
Just tell me already! Ah! He keeps, like, cutting out the part where they're gonna say who she is. What are you doing back, sir? Am I not allowed back? That's not what I mean. It's just... Ugh. It's been a great time for you not to be here. It's not, it's not a great time for you to be here. Great time or not, you're in no place to speak of such things. How is Arctaz? He... Sir Arctaz, he... Out with it already. Speak clearly. Yes, sir. Sir Arctaz is currently making preparations for the bonfire banquet. Don't just give me the good news. What else? He's personally checking all the drinks for tomorrow. Right now, he's sampling from those from other regions. Rotten boy. He said he would give up drinking last month. And now this? Ridiculous. If he keeps flip-flopping, how is anyone supposed to trust a word out of his mouth? Patriarch is doing this all for the sake of politics. It's probably dedicated to the Saintess. Ugh. Sounds like excuses to me. Uh, <laughs> by the way, who's the girl? Oh, how rude, Gulo. The young lady is Rosalind, my guest. Welcome, Madam Rosalind. Master, who is Madam Rosalind, really? Might just be me, but she looks a bit like Sir Ark. Shh! I'm not certain of anything yet. Don't ask too many questions just now. Gulo, bring the young lady inside first. And then, whatever the Oaf Arctaz is, wherever the Oaf Arctaz is, take her to him. And don't forget to tell your minions to prepare a room and meal for her. Treat her well, or else. Yes, sir. Who is this old man? Order you out a soldier. Elder devotee. It doesn't even tell you. Sorry to keep you waiting. No biggie. You guys finished chatting? What was it you were going to tell me before that big guy came over? Someone you wanted me to meet, right? The man I wished you to meet is inside the house. Follow this one inside. First, oh, your meeting with this man will make everything clear. All right. What about you, Batyushka? Not coming with? We'll meet again soon, child. Very soon. Please come with me, Madam Rosalind. All right. Hey, Breton. Your name is Gulo, right? What were you chatting with the old man about? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> something you can't tell me? Eh. Come on, Breton. Say something. Making an X with his fingers. You really can't say? Yet another X followed with the constant barrage of X's. Ugh, fine, I'll stop bothering you about it. Anyway, as soon as I meet this guy, I'll know, right? I'm also real curious as to why you two keep staring at my face. What is it? Because I look like someone, or does someone look like me? Nah, it can't be. The way the old man talked about the guy he wants me to meet, it's like... that. It's not... Well, no. Alright, calm down. A guy like you couldn't lie your way out of a fin bowl. Well, I'm not lying. You guys were stealing some real strange glances earlier. You're up to something funny. You're up to some funny business. I'm gonna come down with my fists. Aren't we going inside? Come on already. Ah, uh, Madam Rosalind. I knew it! Sir Arctas, Master has brought us a guest. Sir? He's drunk. <laughs> this is a fine drink. Incredibly fine. Oh, well, finish, finish this glass with me. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. This is supposed to be the guy the old man wanted me to meet? Uh, bearded drunk? Eh? What's this girl babbling about? I am Arctaz, patriarch of the Palarosh clan. How could I possibly get drunk on a sip of wine? All the drunks say stuff like that. And here I thought, nah, couldn't be. My papa would definitely be way cooler. Your father's guest. <laughs> so I won't argue with you. Still. Come a bit closer, girl. Let me have a pro proper look. But what the hell are you trying to pull? Uh, I feel like your face is sort of familiar. You're... Really? <laughs> the old man steps inside, disturbing a thick layer of dust. The door barely hangs on its hinges, and the floor creaks with every step. Under his orders, the room is not welcome to single guests in a very, very long time. With no residents and no custodians, this forgotten room has fallen apart with age. Where did I put it? 
I think it was... Ah, good, here it is. The old man fiddles with the latch of the cabinet in the corner, removing something within it, from within. It's a plain, unadorned rock. Every edge painstakingly smooth, polished smooth, until it was perfectly round. Upon the rock is carved a blessing of Cherangander. The old man grasps the rock in the palm of his hand. Thank goodness. I kept it even as I never expected this day to come. Rosalind has grown up well, Tatiana. The old man remembers that day has also was also a winter's day. It was through this very window that he had watched that sad, silent parting. He had seen that young, foreign, faultless woman with her anger and disappointment that could slice snow a flame leave. He had seen that young, confused child carried in her mother's arms, unable to understand the reason behind her mother's furious face. He had watched them for what felt like centuries. Watched them until their backs faded into the bitter white winds. So many years, there was so much time passed. I had planned to give this to Rosalind, but I never expected. Mark Taz did not want to see you two bear the blame. So I locked this room and told him that he just must not speak in your stead. And then it was I, for the sake of the clan Paul Roche, who exiled you and yours. If there is anyone to blame, Tatiana, then blame me. Now, the Polyosh clan is in Arctos's hand. Cherik, too, is not as she once was. I pledged to live the rest of my days a simple devotee, so that as long as I lived, I would keep the road ahead clear for Charagander. If not for this, if only it had been like this. I must be truly old now, daydreaming like that. By Charagander. By Charagander. Oh. Oh, battle time? Oh, battle time! Back on track. Awaiting your order. Fire! Wow. Can your eyes keep up? First aid box is ready. Wow, those guys deal a lot of physical damage. Okay. Let me read about the enemies, then. Fucking end, so I can do stuff. No! Okay. First aid needed! Shut up! Okay. Go to the next thing. Fucking mages are the problem. I don't know. They're weak against physical damage. But that doesn't really matter because they hit so hard. Spawn lava for AOE. I'll come with might you. Be good. Mm -hmm. Come on. I went too slow. I need a place. Ow. Damn it. These evil spirits are too strong. Why couldn't she do that before? Fuck you, Gravel. Sorry. Yes, did you I did. Mess up. For once, again? it was the accurate one. You messed up. 
Still soaking yourself in the past? This is the place. Congratulations! Be please. A perfect Come on, conclusion to this mission. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. Promote. Promote. Yeah. Formalities like these remind me of the time when Carl and Trade was first established. Gnosis was so full of himself as he declared my position to the others. It was then that I decided to wait for a chance to smash that cocky face of his to the ground. <laughs> slash two times at up to five ground enemies ahead, or slash three times when attacking block enemies. Talent trigger rate is one increased by 100%. And each slash deals, okay. What's her new talent? When dealing damage, there's a 10% chance to increase attack by 100% and frighten the target. Okay, you should be strong enough for what I need you for now. Do I just say fuck it, we ball? And see how high I can make this? Let's get her to uh, 55. So much stuff. Oh my god. Let's just do 50. Nicht schlecht. will protect us all! <laughs> Ready to heal! Any orders for me? Alright. Do 
dude just throws a bomb on me, and it's a snowball. Can your eyes keep up? Can your Not eyes keep up? Backward. Orchid, ready to move. Shooting star, that's what they say. You'll you'll pay for that. How soon do you want them gone? You'll tail like a shooting star, that's what they say. I'll show them what I can do. It's safe here! Here! And this Freeze. team should be strong enough now to do that. Ah, listen, you just need someone to block these guys, and then you should be fine. And you need to uh, have someone that has a fast reach get, get rid of those. Tail like a shooting star. That's what they say. Well, so now he can't do anything. He's frightened again. Wow, that's fair. Not one step backward. I didn't know she could like chain it like that. There is no Your attacks have no effect. Even the dead can't save you. Conviction will throw you off pace. Come on, let's pick up the pace. On standby. First aid boxes. The medication Fuck, is here. I the wrong... Take it. Freeze! Thunderstorm! <laughs> Barely! Again! Once again! Oh! No! No. No, 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 no. Not after all this. What oh, you? Ready to move. Whatever. I beat it. Whatever. Just because it's not three stars doesn't matter. Okay. It's fine. I won. Barely. Oh, motherfucker. Man. Oh. This video is going to be late. Dragon Breaker is real OP now. That Frighten on her talent? That's crazy. Okay. Sir, it's me. Come in. Oh, Courier? What is it? Viscount Harold tasked me to the, with delivering this letter to you. The Viscount? It seems like he really was quite aware of him, of you shadowing him to the, his barracks on my orders. The blame is mine for getting found out. Will this affect anything, sir? It will not. You may continue. How did he find you? Yes, sir. That afternoon... This is Courier, right? It is currently 5 in the afternoon. Now recording today's mission. Things today are not quite... Not much different from past recordings. The infected barracks soldiers regularly perform drills in the mountains nearby. Well, I say drills, but it's mostly them trying to stave off boredom. The uninfected soldiers, on the other hand, have more freedom of movement. Thanks to this, they get up to all sorts of things. It's a bit of a pain to scratch that. Based on previous investigations, most of them simply drink and get rowdy at the tavern at the foot of the mountain. There are still four people keeping watch at the camp, three are playing cards, while one is sleeping. After the one who was sleeping woke up, one of the other left. The, one of the other three left seemed to be quite happy as he was walking away. It was to visit the Turials, I'd say he'd taken fancy to their daughter. These Victorians have been here for nearly a month. Even though I volunteered myself to scout them in the first place, the more I watch them, the more I wonder if they, there is even a, any point in monitoring them. They really do look like they're just here for sightseeing. Ah, uh, right. 
It looked like Viscount Harold had returned to the camp and started playing cards with soldiers, but he is now nowhere to be seen. You know, a kind-hearted old man like me would call it a pity that you're out here alone on a mountain, Mr. Wise. Weiss? I don't know his name. Which is why I brought along a drink for you. Huh? <laughs> what a cocky bastard. No need to worry, old chap. Watching us every day must be the right chore. I get it, though. After all, there's a bunch of foreign troops stationed here. I'd be worried, too. And so, your Sir Enciodes can't help but have a little disdain for our Victorians. For us Victorians. Go on, take a sip already. He'll warm you up. Sorry, I'm not great with alcohol. That's so. What a pity. I didn't have much taste for booze either. When I was younger, I felt like I could do just about anything sober. <laughs> but now I finally understand why drink enchants people so. Please tell me, Lord Viscount, what exactly will you do now that you've been now that you found me? I should probably put my headphones back on. I was simply hoping you could assist me in a small matter, Mr. Wise. Wise? Wise? Let's see. I have no idea. Alright, I'll do that. Oh wait, right. Log. Ah! Thank you for whoever told me how to do that. I don't remember who told me that you can go back. I'm awful with names, obviously, Well, if you're watching this. Be sport and pass this letter along to NCOs if you would. Alright, I'll do that. Eh, not gonna ask why. I've already found me out. I couldn't quite hide myself from your keen eyes. And pointing it out to me is so bluntly speaks volumes for your, about your attitude on the matter. I'll inform my master about that alongside this letter. Forgive me, sir. If only I had trained my scouting a bit more. There is not for to forgive. No matter what they say, in the end they are still Victorian soldiers. There is an, an objective gap between our capabilities and theirs. It is enough for you that you perform your work at your own pace. Understood. Moreover, it is as you said, that he wished to use you to convey this to me, is telling about his attitude. You have observed their barracks for nearly a month. Tell me what you were thinking of them. What are you thinking of them? Yes, sir. Before the Victorian army even set foot inside Turicum. Turicum? I don't know. We have already prepared extensively just in case. But we never actually used any of our contingencies. Contingencies, even. They rushed in as if... Tomorrow, they would occupy all of Charing, but as we brace for impact, we ended up in this situation. They mostly stay at the foot of the mountain with minimal activity. That Viscount, he deliberately set up a count, a camp far away from any major town or city to minimize disturbances to the locals. Their barracks are split up into camps for the infected and uninfected. They even put up a notice to inform visitors. According to some intelligence I dug up, he has even ordered his men to help the locals with their daily tasks. How should I put this? He truly respects his men, and he also respects us Cherigs. And so, I think he's worthy of our respect too. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked M Matterhorn to pass them medicine and supplies. We stopped. I looked it up and it said, like, Vaz is how you say it, but the dude that was pronouncing it was like, sounded drunk, so. This <laughs> report complete, but NCO does not respond. The rhythmic sound of NCO's index finger slowly tapping on the armrest of his chair. That's funny. I was <laughs> doing this. The armrest of his chair clearly echoes throughout the room, like water slowly but firmly dripping from the caves. Eaves. Caves. This letter. What do you make of it? Ultimately, they've infringed on our borders in the name of Victoria, and now they had used me as a means to pass you this letter. I believe this was intended as both a wrap across the knuckles and a warning. Could it be, after all this, they can't actually contain themselves? Dot dot dot. You've always been fond of taking the negative tack. Apologies, sir. No, this is one of your strengths. You are correct, he deliberately sought you out so as to reveal his strength. 
but at the same time, it's unlikely that he would not know that you are my attendant. A man of his position could approach me directly and inform me of the contents of this letter. But he used you to pass it to me instead. Do you feel like this is etiquette befitting of a noble? <sighs> it's a very humble gesture. He is a strange man. He represents the will of Victorian Duke. Of a Victorian Duke, but that does not mean that every chess piece is a willing puppet. Sir, what exactly is the letter regarding? NCOs does not reply, merely placing the piece of paper inside the envelope, within the envelope, atop the table, and sliding it towards him. It's an invitation? An invitation for me, alongside our Sanctus, to take part in a dinner party he's arranged. You and Lady Enya? Surely he doesn't... No, it couldn't be. If he really did sense something amiss, he wouldn't go about it in such a friendly manner. Find Matterhorn, and ask him to take one of the finest bottles from our distillery storehouse. Ah. On second thought, vice, vice, I don't know. Wheels! No need to go to the distillery. Come with me to Silver Ash Wine Cellar. I'll fetch the drink personally. I mean, the old manor cellar. There may be wine there, but you only need to do as I ask. He had already revealed his sincerity to us, so it's my turn to do the same. <laughs> Politics. What in Cheragonder's name is going on? Are they drinking together? I'm telling you! We Ursus can drink way more than this any day. Come visit sometime, he'll be my treat! He's clueless. <laughs> Very well, it's a deal. Drink, come, drink more. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Fuck. Glug, 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 glug. Now that's some fine wine. No, 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 it's not wine, it's honey. Man, Sherrick's own local Highland honey. <laughs> this flavor sure is something else. It's your lucky day, because I brought a few bottles of my own on the train. Ah, honey. Very so <laughs> sobering. This flavor is great, stupendous. I art does, so decree, do decree it so. Come, down it. Huh? Eh, hey, girl, why'd you? Turn all wrinkly. <laughs> Buddy, you got it wrong, guy. I'm over here. Let go, useless son of mine. Let go, I say. Hey, kid. How come you so, so strong all of a sudden? Don't tell me you don't like my drinks. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Wait here, I'll go get the best, bestest spirits. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> this dude is wasted. Hey, buddy. I already told you, you got the wrong guy. You, you too. Gulo! Gulo! I'm here, master. What is the meaning of this? Sir, I had... Sir, drank a bit too much, and... Once he saw Madame Rosalind, he invited her to drink with him. I wasn't able to stop them. Arctaz, you besotted oaf! When he looked at Rosalind, did he, did he really not come to any realizations? Not exactly. Well, what then? Spit it out already! When he saw Rosalind, Sir said that she looked a bit familiar, but I think he might have been too drunk. We waited for a good while, and he didn't say another word about it. Not a peep. And then? And then Madame Rosalind thought of something to lighten the mood. She got out some honey drinks she brought with her and gave some to Sir to try, and then, well, here we are. How did Arctaz get this far without learning how to handle honey drunkenness? It's his nature, I'm afraid. I don't think he could handle it, even if he tried. To be honest, he might have inherited it from you, Master. Glare. <laughs> uh, what should we do, then? What should we do? You're asking me what we should do? Wait until Arctaz is sobered up. Once he's a clear head, even he cannot deny the things that us two have noticed. When I see Rosalind, I see Arctaz when he was her age. I remember. He didn't even have his beard back then. Ha! <laughs> he was just afraid of not looking reliable enough to ploy. If he had really been reliable back then, it would never have come to this. But Yushka, you're finally here! Who wasn't reliable? What back then? What are you guys talking about? Ah, uh, nothing. Just some reminiscing. Hm. <laughs> Another secret you're keeping. Alright then, keep your secrets. Here, Bakusha, this is for you. I saved you one last bottle of honey. 
Let's drink. Very well. That's cute. Doesn't sound like this. Doesn't sound like there'll be any trouble from then. It looks like family reunion or something to me. I cannot rule out the possibility of them exchanging information via code words. Still need to watch them carefully. You, why are you loping around over there? Ah, master, a new delivery of drink has just arrived, and I need men to help me bring it all in. You may go, young Golo. Yes, master. Uh, I'll go on ahead then. First, first then. Yes, just go already. I'll make sure that these two don't end up <laughs> in any trouble. <laughs> I brought more drink! Oh. Wait, this much? <laughs> Did you see the whole entire cellar or something, my man? <laughs> the people of Cherig are never stingy when treating their guests. After gifting me your honey, it's only natural that I shower something of mine. I wouldn't want a girl like you thinking that I wasn't generous. Try this one for size. Since you have such fine taste, I've grabbed the rarest drink from my collection. I wouldn't bring it out for the banquet tomorrow. This is cute. <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> 96%. Snow Realm Spring? The year's on the label, too. Oh, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this brand in the doctor's office. Ah, whatever. Time to drink up! Gulp, 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 gulp. <laughs> this stuff is great. It's got a tingle, but it sure goes down easy. Refreshing, yet not pungent. Yep, very fine. You sound just like one of those fancy som sommeliers. What the fuck? At the time, it was awful hard to get this drink. I had to grease a few palms and hide them behind my father's back to get my hands on the batch. <laughs> Why well, have to keep it a secret? What? Does your dad not let you drink or something? No, nothing of the sort. Us men of Cherig have been drinking since we were in diapers. Unlike those Victorians who fall over after a single drop. <laughs> ah, but this. Back then, it was considered taboo, especially for us Palaroches. But those times are long gone. Things have changed. Fuck. What use is talking about it now? Come, have a sip. Whoa. This bottle might be even bigger than... Oh, even better than the last. If it wasn't for the fact that we were such kindred spirits, I wouldn't give it to you. Even if you beat me to death over it. Well, he's your, she's your daughter, so... 